Hey, it's Clyde Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRYS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I've been doing this analysis on a routine basis, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from, and just wanna keep the chart updated. Obviously, a lot of people out there talking about it, uh, so uh, it's still very relevant. So the first thing, you know, what do I think about the chart? Well, it, it truly does depend. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought right there and you're hoping to sell within seven seconds, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. If you care about the big picture of things, then sure, there was this pullback, but from the bigger picture, the bulls are still in control. And I say that because the bulls still have an opportunity to build a higher base. Now, will they guaranteed build a higher base? Nobody knows that. But as it stands right now, the, bull, the bulls can still technically, like I said, put in a higher low, and that's how those long-term uptrends are built. And that an initial level comes into play based off the one that I was talking about yesterday, which is that green line right there, based around the $4 and you know 50 cent, $4, 55 cent, whatever you wanna call it area. And you can actually see the power of charts. I promise I've not moved that green line, uh, but multiple times the bears try to press down through there. And so far so good, the bulls are doing a good job of holding as support. Now, if the price does drop low there, even at that point, you know, that would definitely be a step uh, you know, in the bearish direction. That would be a sign that the bears are gaining some strength. Uh, but from, again, a big picture perspective, I fully realize that if you bought right there, you could care less about these levels. I'm talking about long-term perspective. I mean, if the price did fall below there, technically speaking, the price could come all the way down there, bounce around and then head back up. And even if that happened, when you stop and break things down, you know, you'd have a, a set of lows right here. You'd have that set of lows right there. You'd have this previous set of lows right there. So if you picture each of these as stair steps, the overall stair steps would still be going in the upwards direction. So yeah, preferably speaking, you wanna see the price hold above 450 going forward. Uh, but if it doesn't hold, uh, then you know the next level down there at that second green line, which is right around the $3.80 mark. And in my opinion, you know, if the, the 450 area does not hold up, uh, then nothing's a guarantee, but it would not be shocking at all to see the price at least drift down uh, and retest $3.80. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, nothing new here to report. $5.50, still a level of resistance, and then the next level up there at the $6 mark. So all in all though, sure not the best day from, a, you know, depending on where you bought, but from the big picture, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base and therefore continue the uptrend. So we'll see if they can do it or not. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.